One of Denver's largest neighborhoods is getting a lift solving a big problem from something known as microtransit. In October of 2020, the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure, or DOTI, launched the Montbello Connector. This service features a fleet of three vehicles that provides rides to anyone living in or traveling within the Montbello community. It works just like Uber or Lyft, except that it's free. Yes, you heard that right, completely free. They can't believe it's free. It's like, there's, some of them are hesitant. They're like, are you sure it's free? I'm like, yeah, it's free. Really started in 2019 when the voters decided to start the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure, um, giving us authority to do these sorts of things and you know, really coming down from the mayor and interest in making sure that we're giving folks safe, accessible, you know, affordable ways to get around the city. The connector helps to reduce car trips while simultaneously filling a gap that exists in connecting Montbello residents to key destinations within the neighborhood. And did we mention it's free? We have a gentleman that has been with us since day one and he is just loving it. It gets him from here to his job, and then he gets back from his job back to the light rail station. He says it saves him like $150 a week in Lyft and Uber, which is, is good for us. And I'm like, go try the Mount Bello connector, and he's like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. You know, the majority of trips, I think, start and end at this rail station or the Walmart on the edge of the neighborhood. Um, so people who you know used to have to lug groceries on a bus, things like that, are now able to ride these services. And you know we've heard some great stories of you know, now I can buy the heavy liquids that were too heavy to carry, or you know the groceries that would spoil while I was waiting for the bus. And you know it means a lot that we can help folks with those trips. It's a need for this because a lot of people don't have transport, and you know and a lot of people don't have the funds to get where they need to go, but they, they need to get there. But the benefits of this service go beyond just transportation and cost savings. The drivers are all employees and not just contractors. Plus, some of the drivers are residents of Montbello, who provide a knowledgeable and friendly face for the riders. Knowing the neighborhood, knowing the streets, get them there in a timely manner. It's really important for us that for the drivers of this service, um, having folks who are as local as possible, um, for a number of reasons, you know, one-off wanting to make sure we're providing jobs in the community where the service is, I think that's just the right thing to do. Uh, but then similarly with starting a new service, it really helps with the trust. We've heard kind of anecdotes from folks of pick somebody up and, oh, that's my neighbor, or, we're friends from a church group, or we went to high school together. So I think having those connections that most of our drivers live in Montbello or in the general area and have some ties is just helpful for building up that trust and something the stakeholders also said was important. The Montbello Connector also acts as a community builder for those who use its service. The Connector helps us to connect uh, to each other as well as get around to do the things that's going to make our families stronger. Our seniors, for example, they're able to go visit someone who is, is suffering. It helps them become better people. They feel better about themselves knowing that they are able to help. Additionally, Dottie has partnered with the Office of Climate Action, Sustainability and Resiliency to electrify the service. The fleet boasts one fully electric sedan and one plug-in hybrid minivan that helps keep the service green. With that new Climate Protection Fund, we're talking about how we can partner to do more of this going forward because I think, you know, with concerns about, you know, the environment and pollution, electric vehicles are really helpful and reducing that pollution in the neighborhood is important to us. So. The service is easy to use. Just download the app, create an account, select where you are and where you're going, and soon a vehicle will be on their way to you. I like the app. I think it's so cool. It gives me a little extra time to, you know, I can watch it coming, so I, I, I'm calmer. There's also a call-in service, and um, additionally, everything's available in English and Spanish, which we heard from our stakeholders was really important for this community. Thus far, the response from those who use it has been positive. Ridership continues to grow as word of mouth spreads. And from October to November, it was nearly a 200% increase in ridership. Ridership normalized a little bit more in November, and then from November to December, it was a 33% increase. So great to see those increases, and again, just trying to get the word out about the survey. While currently on a 12-month pilot, Dottie will look to make it a permanent fixture, with the potential to expand it to other neighborhoods as well but they need your help. 
ride this, ride it a lot. The data we're collecting helps us do a better job of planning these services in the future. You know, I get all the comments that are being submitted and we really take those in and try to make this the best service. So tell your friends about it, use it for as many trips as possible. And you know, Dottie's excited to hopefully do more of this in the future. We really need to continue using it to plan ahead, you know, and making those calls so that we can use that service uh, enough so that we can get a stationary Montbello shuttle. So if you're in the area, call the Montbello Connector for a free and green ride to where you're going. For more stories, check out Denver's YouTube page or tune in to denver8.tv.